So the number one step we need to see today is that we need to learn how to develop what I call a money-saving habit. We need to learn how to develop a money-saving habit. Money-saving habit is like any other habit. We can develop it, we can create it, but from step one, it all starts with a decision and with an action. So for you to start building the mentality I'm talking about, is start with an action. The first step, the first step for you to enter into that saving habit or that saving culture is to open, let's say, a saving account somewhere. Open a saving account somewhere and start putting some money there every time you get paid. <laughs> you see, this is very, very practical class. This is a very practical class, and this is a very, very important class. Very practical and very, very important class. You see, I want to build a money-saving habit. You say, I don't know what to do to have a money-saving habit. I want to believe you that you are serious about saving your money. Some people, they put money in the bank on the Monday and Tuesday, they go and take it. This is not saving money. You like discipline. So the first step, the first action, open a saving account and begin to put money there. Put money away every time. Every time you get paid, put some money there. Every time you get paid, you go there and you put some money there. As soon as you get any form of money, no matter how big or small the money is, put in your mind, let me remove a part. Let me remove a part and put it aside to secure my future and to secure my destiny. I hope this information is helping somebody in any way. I hope you are, you are being inspired to do something. So the amount is not the problem. It's not the amount of money. Some people say, how can I save $3? How can I save $5? I don't need, I don't see the use of saving $3 or $5. Much better you put your $5 aside than to waste it. Because if you do that same $10 10 times, you have a $100. And if you do the same thing 10 times, again, you have a $1,000. And if you do that same effort 10 times more, you have $10,000. If you do that again 10 times more, you have you, 10, 10 times more, you have now $10,000. If you do again that same effort 10 times more, you have $100,000. So never underestimate the power of what you are putting aside. Never underestimate the power of the money you are saving. And when we speak about it, you can start with a small percentage. You can start with 10%. You can say every 10% of your money, you are going to keep it. Every 10% of your money, you are going to save it. Every 10% of your money, you are going to eat it. You can start with 10% and start moving on and on and on from there. 